What do you get when there is only one brand making Wear OS 3.0 watches? You get Samsung Galaxy Watch 5, a watch that is just an incremental update over the previous generation watch. I know, I know, Mont Blanc smartwatch is powered by Wear OS 3.0, but it costs $1000. As a result, here we are with Samsung Galaxy Watch 5. If you too are wondering whether or not you should pay twice the price for Watch 5 compared to Watch 4, then this video is for you. Let's start with the build of the watch. This is something that has remained the same and quite frankly should remain. Watch 5 is available in 40mm and 44mm models. And just like the previous year, Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 also features a familiar 20mm strap. I personally like the Watch 4 strap compared to the older Watch Active 2 lineup. So I love the fact that Watch 5 has a similar strap. However, not everything is the same as Samsung has also introduced two new color options for Watch 5. Another improvement that Watch 5 has is that it now features sapphire glass instead of gorilla glass for display protection. That's why Watch 5 is more scratch resistant than the previous generation Galaxy Watch 4. However, I don't think that was an issue in the first place, still it's a welcome upgrade. Another thing that has changed is that the Watch 5 has a curvier back. It is due to the latest generation bioactive sensor on Watch 5. According to Samsung, it will improve the sleep tracking on the Watch 5. Considering how bad I found the sleep tracking to be in my Watch 4 review, this seems like a step in the right direction. By the way, check out my in-depth Watch 4 review using the I button. This brings us to the murky weight and thickness situation of Watch 5. DC Rainmaker, one of the well-renowned smartwatch and fitness product reviewers, found the Watch 5 to be heavier and thicker than the claimed weight by Samsung. First observations made by him was that 28.7 gram weight of the 40mm variant is correct without the strap. With the strap, Watch 5 weighs around 50 grams, which is pretty heavy. And the 44mm variant, according to Samsung, weighs 33.5 grams, which is again only true without straps. With straps, the watch weight reaches 55 grams. So these are some pretty heavy watches. Also, both the watches are thicker than the claimed thickness by Samsung as well. In terms of dimensions, Watch 5 is thicker and heavier than Watch 4. However, there isn't any difference in terms of looks when it comes to Watch 5 series and in my opinion that is a good thing. Speaking of good things, Samsung has retained the screen found on Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 to Watch 5 as well. Watch 5 features a 1.4 inch Super AMOLED display with a display resolution of 450 by 450 Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 is powered by the same 1.4 inch Super AMOLED display with a display resolution of 450 by 450 Previous Gen Watch 4 also featured a Corning Gorilla Glass DX Plus coating which prevented glare and scratches. And Sapphire material on Watch 5 is naturally anti-reflective and scratch resistant. Previous generation Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 came with accelerometer, gyroscope, heart rate, barometer, NFC and bio-impedance analysis sensor. In this generation, Samsung has added a temperature sensor as well. However, at the time of the launch, temperature sensor is disabled on Watch 5 as it is yet to receive clearance from regulatory bodies. Hopefully this won't be like blood pressure monitor feature, as that too despite being available on Watch 4 wasn't available in many locations. Bluetooth has also been updated from 5.0 to 5.2 in Samsung Watch 5. However, navigation support has remained the same on Watch 4 and Watch 5 as well. Like the previous gen Watch 4, this one too comes with built-in microphone and speaker and you can also get the LTE variant of Watch 5. Similarly, performance of Watch 5 is same as Watch 4 as it is powered by the same Exynos W920 processor and both the watches feature 16GB of onboard storage coupled with a 1GB of RAM. Watch 4 is running on Wear OS 3.0 and Watch 5 is running on the Wear OS 3.5 and Wear OS 3.5 update should be coming out for the Watch 4 soon as well. Last time I checked, it was in the final stages of beta testing. So in terms of performance and OS, you won't find any difference between the two. While there are no new features, but there are definitely some improvements in Watch 5. When it comes to sleep tracking, Samsung Watch series is known for its inaccurate sleep tracking. And latest generation BioTracker sensor is curvier to improve the sleep tracking on Watch 5. Like previous gen Samsung's bioactive sensor, this one too is capable of tracking your blood oxygen and heart rate 24 by 7. Hopefully Samsung has improved performance there as well. Also addition of thermometer will help in female health tracking and monitoring. Probably the biggest upgrade for me at least comes in the battery department. The Watch 5 has 13% larger battery, 284mAh battery in the 40mm Watch 5 and 410mAh battery in 44mm. Samsung has also bumped up the charging speed from 5W to 10W in the latest Gen Watch 5. And Samsung claims this new charger can charge your watch from 0 to 45% in 30 minutes. 
while battery life is expected to be more or less similar to watch 4 but fast charging will definitely help. So what are your thoughts on this? Do you think watch 5 is a worthy successor to watch 4? Which one are you going to buy? Tell me in the comment box down below. I will be reading and replying to all of your comments and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get the latest videos on wearable tech. Also press that like button if you liked the video. See you next time.